Oh, Moon Pie. Yeah, it came about whenever a sales rep for Chattanooga Bakery set one of his stops in Kentucky. While he was at that stop in Kentucky, he asked the patrons there if there was some kind of a snack he could bring to them. And one of them held his hands up in a big circle. He said, I'd like to have something as big as a moon. Well, that sales rep was thinking about that as he watched these gentlemen take graham crackers, dip them down in a melted marshmallow, and put chocolate on it, making what we know is a s'more. From that, he got the idea for the moon pie. He brought it back with him to Chattanooga Bakery in 1917, and today they make upwards of one million moon pies a day. And where, where is it at? It's just up ahead, I'll point it out to you, it's okay. just up ahead on the right hand side. Now up here at the Moon Pie General Store, you can get all different flavors of moon pies, and they'll even wow, make you a moon pie sundae if you'd like. Yes! Yes, oh, and you don't yes. have to wait till Sunday for that, they'll do that any day of the week. Yeah. So why not stop in for well, an awesome call in the moon pie while you're here? You will not be disappointed. And it's just ahead, right over here on the right, it's got Coca-Cola umbrellas there where it should have RC, but... <laughs> That's the general store. They're on your right. Wow. They started what year? Now, I don't know what year the general store opened up, uh, but Moon Pie, it started back in 1917. 1917? 1917, yeah. Wow. Now up ahead to your right, the Tivoli Theater. The Tivoli Theater opened in 1921 to show silent pictures, and they're still open today. No longer showing silent pictures, though. They have plays, musicals, concerts. Alba was just here yesterday. They were really big in the 80s. And the Price is Right has been here on several occasions. Oh, okay. It's beautiful inside the Tivoli Theater, just like it was back in 1921. It's been totally restored. It's a beautiful building. Now we're going to go into West Village, another very popular area here in town. Right here, Ben. Got it. There's a gentleman named R.H. Hunt that built many of our downtown buildings, and the oldest standing building he built is at Second Presbyterian Church right there in front of us on the left, built in 1895. It looks like it should be in Europe, and here it is in Chattanooga. It's beautiful. This is called West Village, and for good reason, it's kind of like a little town all of its own. It's got churches, places to stay, places to dine, and places to shop. What? So it is a very popular area here. We do have a stop up here, in case anybody wanted to explore the area. Weston Hotel is that big gold hotel over there on the right. And they do have live entertainment there. And they've done blocked off the street, getting ready for a live entertainment out here on the street tonight. Everybody's allowed to come in and enjoy the festivities. That big brick building to your left that looks really out of place today, that is the Reed House Hotel. It opened in 1872, and it is still open today. It's undergoing renovations, though, and a lot of famous people have stayed at the Reed House, such as Oprah Winfrey, Winston Churchill, and Al Capone. Building. This one? Across the street from the Reed House where that big shiny building is this today. Is the Reed House here? That's the Reed House there on your left, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. How's the spell? Do what? How's the spell? R E A D. Okay. H O U S E. Reed House. All right, on up to your left, you can see the Marriott Hotel. And behind the Marriott is Chattanooga Convention and Trade Center. It's over 180,000 square feet of Trade Center. So it's really, really nice. On up ahead, you can see the mountain that's beginning to come into view. That is called Lookout Mountain. Lookout Mountain spans about 90 miles, and depending on where you're from, they either start right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, goes through Georgia, and ends up down around Gadsden, Alabama, or to start down there around Gadsden, Alabama, go through Georgia, and ends up right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Now, Georgia won't be left out. They say it springs up out of Georgia, and some of it oozes into Tennessee, some of it oozes into Alabama. But the way I look at it, it is a beautiful mountain. And there was a very famous Civil War battle that took place on top of that mountain. It was called the Battle of the Clouds. Any 
anybody that's interested in that battle or any of the battles that took place in or around Chattanooga, there is a Civil War Museum on top of Lookout Mountain called Point Park. It is about a three block walk from the incline. Or you can drive your car up there, the choice will be up to you. Up ahead on your left is our football stadium. It's called Finley Stadium. It's home of the University of Tennessee and Chattanooga's Mocks, which is short for Mockingbirds. Finley Stadium will seat approximately 21,000 people, and it is a beautiful stadium. And they utilize it very well. This is Reggie White Boulevard. Reggie White was born and raised here in Chattanooga. Is that the football player? Famous football player, yeah. Play for the Green Bay Packers. What's that? Green Bay Packers here? No, it's in Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh, this is Finley nice. Stadium here on the left side of the road and across the street from Finley Stadium is the first Tennessee Pavilion. And on Sundays, they allow locals to come here and set up their produce as well as art and crafts for sale in the pavilion. It's really, really nice on Sunday. That's what we don't These hills and mountains that surround the scenic city add beauty to the city, no doubt. But now they used to be a detriment to the city <coughs> for a simple reason of a product known as steel. Chattanooga used to produce so much steel, many people called us Little Pittsburgh. But to produce this steel, they used to use coal to melt the ore down. That coal also produced a lot of soot and smoke. And because of our hills and mountains, that soot and smoke had absolutely nowhere to go. It stayed right here low to the ground. It got so bad, many days you'd have to drive with your headlights on to see where you was going through the smoke. And it was stated in the late 60s and early 70s, Chattanooga was one of the most polluted cities in the United States. Well, I'm glad to say today we don't have that rating anymore. In fact, the EPA claim Chattanooga would be one of the cleanest cities in the United States. But now that didn't come without a cost. Those foundries that were using that coal, they shut down or moved out altogether. And when they left, several thousand jobs went with them. And that put Chattanooga in kind of a financial bind in the mid to late 80s. But now we've had a huge turnaround since that also, partly because of our downtown revitalization, partly because of the beautiful location we live in, and partly because of our EPA rating and our high-speed internet. Today, we attract industry from around the globe, and those employment rates somewhere around 3.1%, so it's not really bad at all. Also, because we're a beautiful location, we attract outdoor enthusiasts from around the world. Uh, we held the Ironman competition here just a few weeks ago, and that is a triathlon that used to be held in different cities of different countries around the world until they got here to Chattanooga in 2014. They loved it here so much, they just wanted to stay, and they recently signed a contract committee to be here till 2025. We're glad to have them here. Also because of our beautiful lakes, rivers, and streams, the boating, fishing, and swimming are excellent. And because of our beautiful mountains and forests, the backpacking, camping, and hiking are excellent as well. About 30 miles north of the city, the Okoy River, that's where they held the Whitewater Olympics a few years ago. That's where I went rafting last summer. It's awesome. There's actually more rock to climb in the 25 mile radius of Chattanooga than they have in Boulder, Colorado. And there's a hang gliding facility on top of Lookout Mountain that trains and licenses more hang glider pilots than anywhere else in the country. So yep, we do attract these outdoor enthusiasts from all over and we love having them here. So on your white water rafting, is it pretty rough? That one, I think, is a, a fort. It's, a, it's really nice. I enjoyed it. Our next stop will be at the Toyn and Recovery Museum. And the reason we have the Toyn and Recovery Museum is 
Lookout Mountain. Uh, he needed assistance getting his car out of the creek. So Mr. Holmes along with a group of men assisted that gentleman getting his car out of that creek. And it took the better part of the day. But Mr. Holmes got to thinking about it. There has got to be an easier way than this. And he thought about it for a while and he got the idea and built the first tow truck. After the invention of the tow truck, what had took that group of men the better part of the day to do could now be done by a couple of men in a matter of minutes. So not only was it a huge labor saver, it saved a whole lot of time as well. So Mr. Holmes again got to thinking. His invention was so useful right here in Chattanooga, he figured it'd be just as useful all around the country. So he Despite the objections of his family and friends, he started building tow trucks for a living. Chattanooga was then, and they continue today to be the largest manufacturer of tow trucks in the entire country, and perhaps even the world. Now, as we pull around to the Toy and Recovery Museum, please make note of the parking lot. There is ample parking there, and it is free for all those that visit the museum. But the parking is also free for all those that choose to ride the Chattanooga hop on hop off trolley tour. So you could park your car there, ride with us throughout the day, and we bring you back to your car in the afternoon, and you proceed on to your destination, and you've saved on parking. Now, if you decided to do something like that, it might be a good idea to let someone inside the museum know that what you're doing, because it would be a shame to come back at the end of the day and discover your car has been towed from the Toy and Recovery Museum. Yeah. You'd have stories you could tell your family and friends, but at the time it wouldn't be that much fun. Guys, enjoy the museum. Next trolley will be around about 45 minutes, okay? Thank you. Thank you. And next driver will be Nick. They said the grandson's a driver. Let Nick know I dropped a couple off here at the Coin Museum, okay? Get that picture, Thomas? Huh? Get the picture? Now they do have a monument right here in front of the museum that was placed there in honor of those that have died on the job. It is a very dangerous job, so that is a fitting monument for them to have. Now across the street from the Toy and Recovery Museum is a business known as Chatham. It used to be known as Chattanooga Medicine, and they used to have a very popular product called Black Drop. You may or may not be familiar with it. Snack oil salesman said he'd cure anything from a hangnail to a toothache, but a little lady known as Dolly Parton used to sing a jingle about Black Drop on the Porter Wagner show, and it went something like this. Smile from the inside out, Smile from the inside out. Black Drop makes you smile from the inside out. Dolly said the Black Drop was an excellent laxative and it would make you smile from the inside out. Yeah. Well, they're no longer noted that much for their Black Drop, but they are noted for their Icy Hot and their Gold Bond medicated lotion creams and powders. And no longer having Dolly as their spokesperson today, they've got Shaquille O'Neal. They're doing just fine. He said, how that church converted? We're now going into St. Elmo, the oldest suburb in Chattanooga. Yeah. There's several things you can do while you're in St. Elmo. They do have a boulder climbing facility that'll teach you the fine art of climbing up on the big rock. And should you choose to take advantage of the boulder climbing facility for your convenience, right across the street from it, they have a chiropractor. And I think those guys work together. You climb on that rock, get your back out of the way, go to the chiropractor, get it straightened out, go do it all over again. Show everybody what you learned. Yeah. And there's several nice dining establishments up here. There's 1885. It's a southern coastal cuisine. It's very popular. There's Mr. T's Pizza and Ice Cream. Mr. T feeding the folks the boy ate his pizza and ice cream. It's not really affiliated with that, Mr. T. I just thought it went well together, you know. And then there's Moho's Burrito. Their motto is, 
let us roll one for you. Uh -huh. They roll some of the best burritos in the city. And there's a couple of delis up here, saying so you know, them on Deli Grill, as well as the Purple Daisy. So there's a big variety. I'll talk about the incline now, since we're getting pretty close to it. Also known as America's Steepest Mile, or America's Most Amazing Mile. Okay. The incline opened up in 1895. So they've had a lot of practice going up and down this mountainside, and I heard they haven't gotten lost in years. They can always find their way back to the bottom. <laughs> now, if you look at the tracks as we go through this next intersection, one thing you'll see pretty quick, that it's not really that steep. And it isn't, to start with. But the further up you go, the steeper it gets, and the steeper it gets, till it's just about at a 73 degree angle. You'll actually be looking out the roof of your incline railway car out over the Chattanooga Valley. You'll get to see firsthand why Chattanooga is known as the scenic city. The views are beautiful. If you've ever wondered about anybody that likes to live life on the edge, just look along the edge of this mountain and you'll see a row of houses. They live life on the edge every day. And I'd be willing to bet some of them sleep on the edge of their mattress at night, hoping the house will be there in the morning when they get up. Our stop for the incline is right here. Looks like I've got several going to catch a ride back with me. Look, so this, this railway, it takes you up to Lookout Mountain? Yeah, it takes you up on top and then brings you right back down. Wow, okay. Is that a trolley that goes up there? Howdy, howdy. It's a, it's a uh, railway, baby. Railway. Welcome aboard. It is. Yeah. How was that mountain? Still steep? It's still stupid. Fantastic. Not get out here. We have to drive the car. Welcome aboard. 